So I'm over here by the TV shelf. And what we're doing here tonight is I'm doing this a little later. So hopefully we're going to get some people in here. But we're doing an uncreating. <clears throat> so what I've got here, and uh, let's see if I can find a way to show you, is I have a literal crate right there. See it? An actual crate filled with movies. And I have not opened them yet. Uh, these were brought over from uh, from Canada. Uh, we got a lot of the stuff out. We couldn't get everything, but we brought over another crate of them today. And uh, it has yet been opened, so we're going to be looking at these together for the yeah, for the well the first time since I these were crated up. And in all honesty, I don't know what's in there. Hey there, Sarah. Welcome. So you're going to see some neat stuff here, Sarah. Uh, what we're going to see. is uh, I have a crate of movies and we're gonna be unboxing them. Hey there, Dustin, welcome. I am unsure of what is in this crate. Oh, okay. There's some interesting things here. A lot of classic stuff. Uh, in here as well. So we're gonna just kind of dive into it. I don't have any like particular like method of going into this because honestly, I don't know. I don't. Uh, uh, but we'll see what's in here. We, you guys can judge me from the, from the movies in this crate. By the way, so we're starting off on a on a good on a good spot, I think, because we have the Boris Frankenstein Legacy Collection, and this one has like Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, Son of Frankenstein, Ghost of Frankenstein, and of course, House of Frankenstein. Hey there, Kay. Hey there, PlayStation. Doing an OGP. I'm not sure OGP is. Uh, Ken and Bill. Why does the name sound familiar? Uh, more than likely, actually. Are the YouTubers? There's a good chance. Um, but I love the legacy sets. I got all of these except for the creature from the Black Lagoon. So the one I'm missing. And uh, this Frankenstein one's super cool stuff. All right. We have a film here. And it's a snapper case. So I, it's uh, one of these snapper case ones. And this is James Dean. And uh, and it is James Franco actually playing James Dean. God, I've seen this movie in a long time. So yeah, James Franco, uh, Michael Moriarty's in this one as well. But it's... Tactical trailers of the Dean movies, Giant and Rebel Without a Cause, or like kind of the features. This is the early days of like uh, features. So uh, there's that, right? Anybody see this one? Let me know if you have. We got a few like four film favorites here as well. Uh, kind of a fun one here with the first four Police Academy movies. I remember actually getting this one at a, uh, at a I think it was a yard sale or a crate digger sale for like 25 cents. And I do like the Police Academy films, especially the first like couple. Uh, but you know they're they're cheesy fun, and I uh, I'm kind of glad I got them. Have a double feature here with Shaft and Shaft's big score. So uh, you know two Richard Roundtree classics, and a black exploitation like four pack right here, four film favorites, Urban Action Collection. We got Black Belt Jones, Black Samson. We have a uh, hot potato and three the hard way, which is uh, Western actually. Yeah, I mean, I don't. It's been ages, man, since I've seen uh, that uh, that James Dean film. I'm actually really intrigued to see what's in this box. I'm not even joking. I understand where I'm collecting like Blu-rays and 4Ks and stuff like that. Uh, it's uh, been a while since I've actually dived in some of this stuff, so it's going to be a uh, interesting. Okay. I think I, this is a classy box, I think, guys. Uh, so far, anyway. And we have a three pack here for 12 Angry Men, In the Heat of the Night, and Marty. So, like three Oscar uh, films right here. Just incredible movies, too. Marty is such a good film. In the Heat of the Night, Sidney Poitier. And of course, 12 Angry Men. You can't go wrong with uh, with that one there. And I'm pretty sure these each got their own disc as well. Uh, so. Yep, they do. And this one apparently in the heat net was a collector's edition. So I'm not sure what features are on here. 
I probably have to stick it into the into the Blu-ray player to figure it out. And then, uh, not quite as classy, but still good. Have you ever seen Rollerball? Yes. Is the, you mean the new one or the or the old one? The old one is the James Conman. It's classic. Um, the new one with the well, I think WWE Studios has something to do with it. I'm pretty sure they did because like Paul Heyman and like Shane McMahon was in it. But this right here is the first season of Pretty Little Liars, which I'm glad I found this because I'm actually doing a first and like first episodes like season finale like watch video uh, on this series. So uh, there, old one's fantastic, and uh, pretty sure this is like a. You ever wonder why I'd watch a show called Pretty Little Liars? Just like this one. right here, right here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I actually like that show. You got a little bit weird. We got picket fences. Hey, Jesse, welcome, man. Uh, what I'm doing, by the way, guys, if anybody that came in late is I, I got a crate of films from my, uh, from the farm. I don't know what's in the crate. I actually just opened up the crate. Well, we came, when I came on camera and I'm taking them out and looking at them with you guys and giving you my, you know, kind of my thoughts and my, uh, and we're discovering them together. It's like a surprise crate. We got picket fences here. Uh, only this is the first season. I don't think I got any of the other seasons of this one. Um, I did like the show. It was kind of one of these, you know, weird, quirky shows that I uh, that I enjoy. So uh, I I like the weird, quirky stuff. So it was always that. Right here, we got a, a Jack Lemon set. I bought this from HMV when it was actually closing down. It was like at a dollar, and it was uh, it has the apartment. Uh, Avanti, uh, How to Murder Your Wife, and Some Like It Hot on here. A nice four pack of each of them comes with their own. I like the, you look know, on the inside like this. See, the, four, the apartment is such a good movie. And it's, you know, it's got a really good edition out there now. But just have these kind of these early MGM releases for these, uh, for these films aren't bad at all. And like all these here, they don't tell you if there's any features or if there is features, what features there are. So you never really know. That would have been cool, man. I, I think, I think they missed the boat on the on the roller ball, ball PS One game. Yeah, man. I'm trying to get this back in now. There we go. I'm not quite sure what's out in a uh, in June. I can check tomorrow. Well, I'll be doing another video tomorrow, by the way. So we got uh, some more uh, classic ones here uh, from some TCM Turner classic ones. Hey there, Robert. Welcome. Uh, what we're doing, by the way, uh, for those that, that just came in, I got a crate of movies that I had at the farm. Uh, there's a whole bunch of crates. I, this one's brought. I have not seen it uh, in a long time. I, I do not know what's in here. So we got a John Wayne classic one. We got Bataan, Back to Bataan, Destination Tokyo, and Green Beret. Have a horror TCM classic one. With uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, we got The Haunting, House of Wax, and Freaks, Top uh, Browning, classic film. And oh, cool, Wait Until Dark, love, love, love this movie. And this is the widescreen edition, which I always check for because in the snapper cases, you're never really sure. Be sure to like, share, subscribe to all that jazz. If you want to like a uh, super sticker, super chat, or... Uh, or, or donate, you get a special shout out, a ghost face shout out. You guys all know what that is. That's the audience when film studios used to publish video games based on movies like The Lost World, James Bond, Small Soldiers, and even War Games. Oh, it'll happen again. Like, it's it's just, it, they go together, right? This is a cool little set that I got, and I'm actually really proud of this one. I got this set out of Costco, and there's a couple other sets there uh, by different actresses. I picked up the Helen Mirren one, and this is Helen Mirren at the BBC. So it ranges from 1974 to 1982. And it has like things under like the change thing, the apple cart, Caesar and Claretta, the philanthropist, the little minister, the county wife, Blue Hill, Remembered Hills, Mrs. Reinhardt and Soft Target. So a ton of stuff on here, including some like interviews with uh, Helen Mirren herself. I'm a big Hel Helen Mirren fan. So, uh, and I love the way this opens up too. So, cause when you open this one up, it's like, uh, it's like a book and you can see the, uh, the discs for the different films on here. Very young she was there, man. Insane, right?
Newsflash, people get older, right? Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, so Karloff and Lugosi, uh, horror collection. We got The Walking Dead, Frankenstein 1970, which is one about this floor. Uh, you'll find out and Zombies on Broadway. So I am a huge Karloff Lugosi fan. Uh, this, this is cool. This is a harder one for me to find, actually. And I bought this one when it came out for full price. So uh, this one been over 20 bucks when I got it. These are kind of neat. I think you guys are going to get kicked out of this. So I have two of the three of these. So this is Star Wars A New Hope. But this is kind of special. Because it what it included in the first disc was the regular, like, remade Star Wars. Oh, you know, the one that George Lucas, like, kind of did. But what it also included on disc two was the original theatrical 1977 version of Star Wars. And if I remember correctly, these are the despecialized versions, and it's the last time that the, de that the despecialized editions were put out. Anybody, can anybody, like, verify that for me? And I have the one for Empire Strikes Back as well, which also includes the original theatrical version of the Empire Strikes Back. So you don't just get the newer version, but you get the theatrical one. So when you open it up here, I'll show you right here. So it was a limited edition set series that came out. Uh, I think these were at Walmart. Uh, so there's this one, which is the new one. And this too as the original one. And I, there's a booklet here thing. So let's just see if it does say anything in the uh, in the booklet here. So this basically just lets you know, you know what's on here. <laughs> Rest of my eyes, yeah. But I am going to guess, guys, that in this movie right here, hand does not shoot first. So this this is a cool one. That that's a cool thing to find. I forgotten I had that. We got a Universal Horror set right here, a two disc set with five films. We got the Black Cat from 1941 with Bela Lugosi and Bezel Rathbone. We have Man Made Monster, uh, Lon Chaney Jr. Horror Island is here in 1941. I remember watching this one with my better half and my oldest, uh, M. Like, uh, she watched it with, with us. Uh, Night Monster from 1942, another Bela Lugosi film. And we got Captive Wild Woman here from 1943. Some really cool stuff. This is fun. I'm not sure. If you, are you guys having fun with this? Yeah, they are letterboxed in, in 4 3, but just to have them, you know, because you can't get them anywhere nowadays. Instead of all the three two disc limited edition DVDs together, nice. So this is Lauren Hardy collection right here. Uh, what I really like, I love Lauren Hardy, but the big like reason for me getting this one, it has a feature length documentary narrated by Chevy Chase, and it's called Added Attractions: The Hollywood Short Stories, which talks about like the, basically the Hollywood shorts, the uh, comedy and stuff that was put out there. Go fighting, guys. The cats are just going wild. Uh, here's a, uh, speaking of like the, the comedy stuff. Um, yeah, this is like, it's been a while since I've seen some of these. I forgot I got some of these. This one was, at, I got at a store that uh, that closed down the week after and they took all the movies and they put it in a bin outside. Uh, I, I, I'm not even joking. They took all the movies and put it in a bin outside, uh, like a garbage bin. So, uh, but I found it after the garbage truck had come and taken it away, but I would, I would have dumpstered out for that, man. Uh, but uh, cause there was like hundreds upon hundreds of movies, TV shows, VHS, DVDs, Blu-rays. So this is a gold rush here. This is the MK2 edition that was put out. Uh, comes with the, with the 1942 version. Also comes with the silent version from 1925 as well. Uh, there you get like the Chaplin today introduction. So if you got the, uh, the newer, like criterion edition, that's kind of, kind of like that. We got uh, the Harold Lloyd Collection, Volume 2, I think. Yeah, Volume 2 here. Some really good movies on here. It's a uh, two to set. We got The Kid Brother, Bumping into Broadway, The Freshman, Billy Blaze's Esquire. Uh, this too, we got Dr. Jack, Feet First. It's a bunch of like extras, like commentaries with Leonard Malton on here, commentaries with Suzanne Lloyd, the granddaughter of Harold Lloyd. Uh, like some extra stuff here, like Grandma, Grandma's Boy, uh, Now or Never, High and Dizzy. Just some really cool stuff. Very excited to find this stuff. I'm glad to have it here. 
Next up is another uh, Charlie Chaplin one. And I had the Charlie Chaplin shirt on yesterday. Uh, so this is The Great Dictator, a classic Chaplin film. Just such a good movie. Um, and we get like uh, like the champ, the, tr the tramp, and the dictator, Fifth Feminine documentary on here as well. You get Charlie the Barber. You got a production film to, in color. Recently discovered color footage of the film at this time. Uh, just a whole bunch of things on here. Scenes from Monsieur Bordeaux, which I do have from Criterion, actually. And we got another, we got another chaplain. We got some other chaplain here, yes. So we got, this is a two, a two pack here. A woman, a woman in Paris, oh, sorry, a woman of Paris and a king in New York. Uh, a double feature like of, uh, of Chaplin. So really cool stuff. A bunch of features on here as well. And uh, Camille, an amateur movie by Ralph Barton based on La Dame of Cam Camille's uh, and featuring numerous personalities of New York of the time, including Anita Luz, Paul Robson, Sinclair Lewis, Ethel Barrymore, Sasha Gutry, uh, Charlie Chaplin, and Yvonne Prentemps? Prentice. I'll check out the video. Criterion got a great release. Out. I'm not sure if Criterion released those, but uh, and of course here is Limelight, uh, yet another Chaplin. Well, you can see definitely a later Chaplin film. Um, these MK2 ones, I really like the way they were done. I just like so you open it up here, you'll see like on the back they'll have like a, a scene from the film and they'll open it up here and you'll see like the uh, special features. Yeah, I'm I'm stoked that I'm done doing this night, guys. This was a last minute plan. But I hope you're enjoying it. Oh, we got a box set. And it's a good one. It is the Film Noir Classic Collection. Uh, and I guess I guess this is volume one, because I don't see I don't see a volume number on it. And it has some great movies here. We got Asphalt Jungle, Gun Crazy. What a good movie, Gun Crazy is, guys. Murder My Sweet, Out of the Past. And then the setup. Out of the Past says, you know, if somebody says to you, name a movie, a film noir movie that actually just epitomizes everything that's film noir, Out of the Past, it is the penultimate, penultimate film, film noir. Uh, these are great releases. Like some of these have like die as the kind of like uh, commentaries on them as well. So really cool stuff. Super stoked for this one. This one's going up here. Didn't expect any finding box this night, but that's kind of cool. Uh, so we got a triple feature here. Audrey Hepburn. We got Braxton Tiffany's Roman Holiday and Sabrina. And again, each got their own disc. So, you know, anniversary edition, you know, maybe there's features on it. You never know. And we got another Turner Classic Movies collection, one right here. We got uh, the Audrey Hepburn, uh, Spencer Tracy one, and it's got Philadelphia Story. Well, not, not just Audrey Hepburn, Spencer Tracy. It's got other stuff too, because Philadelphia Story is not them. Uh, that's Cary Grant. Uh, oh, maybe it's Catherine Hepburn said that. Uh, Bringing Up Baby, Adam's Rib, and Woman of the Year. So, yeah, it's all Catherine Hepburn films. Michelangelo Antonio's a blow up. A uh, really great film. Uh, with uh, with David Hemming, who would go, you know, would be in uh, the one of the penultimate like jowls of all time, Deep Red. He would star in that. But just a really good movie. Sarah Miles is in this, like Vanessa Redgrave. If you've never seen this, recommend it. Oh, and here's one, a newer kind of one new, but newer than the stuff we've been seeing so far. And this is Break. So I bought this at a Walmart around close to Christmas time. Um, and I didn't know anything about it. Never heard of it before. But the back of the box, I read the back of the box. I looked at the cover. Interested me. And I, I remember watching this and really, really liking it. So basically, uh, it's these people. Uh, I think it's like, uh, where is this film? Like Germany or something like that? Uh, so it's a cable car. And they're, they're going up. They're partying there. And something happens that they're forgotten about and they're up in the cable car and they're stuck. A uh, cable car can't move. It's too like far up for them to even leave, attempt to like to dive down or anything like that. And things suddenly go from bad to worse. And one of them kind of loses his mind. So it's a really good film. 
Huh, we got uh, the old collection here, the Godfather, the, Co the Coppola restorations. Uh, so now this one has, of course, the 4K of there, but a uh, really cool edition here. It has the three films, Godfather, Godfather Part, Part 2, Godfather Part 3. And it also has uh, some, you know, some DVD supplements were kind of a big deal at the time. I think it's like a couple discs of like supplements, like over four hours on, on two discs. Uh, here's a neat little double feature. And this is uh, kind of two music legends, two separate stories. So this is Buddy Holly and the character Buddy Holly is played here by Gary Busey. I, I kid you not. That is, that is Gary Busey. Just look close. And of course, La Bamba, which I saw in theater, made me and everybody in the theater kind of cry. Um, great little film. Both of them are fantastic. These come in their own little kind of like their slimline cases right here. La Bamba has a director, producer, cast audio commentary, uh, Taylor Hackford and Daniel Valdez audio commentary, La Bamba, the music video by Las Lobos. Uh, Lonely Teardrops music video by Howard Hunsbury, Remembering Richie featurette. Uh, on the Buddy Holly story here, we got a, a commentary with Steve Rash, the director, and, G and Gary Busey. So, you know, that's going to be good. Uh, bonus previews, you know, stuff like that. But interesting stuff, right? I think it's interesting stuff. Let me know, by the way, here, if you got any of these, if you haven't seen any of these sets before, if they are things that, that interest you, if you're enjoying it. And we got a couple TV things here, apparently, too. This one is kind of comes, it's going to come in handy now because the series, if I remember correctly, is coming back. Uh, like it's a spinoff, the spinoff series. And there's a few, I got a couple scenes here. Where's my, I don't want to have season one here. So this is uh, Orphan Black, a really good series with Tatiana Milani, who uh, of course would go on to be a She Hulk and, you know, kind of kill it. In this one, she plays a character that has uh, not just one clone. But you find it was nominated for Oscar. That's true. And like, I totally forgot about that, Robert. See, when people make fun of Gary Busey stuff, they forget about all this cool stuff he did early on. But she plays a ton of characters in this movie. So this is season two, season three, and season four. I'm not sure if there's four or five seasons. Some, somewhere around there. But either way, glad to have them. Some of these back here so I can actually look at some of the other ones. Let's get these TV ones out of the way so we can get into some other stuff. Uh, so we got here uh, season what? Season one, volume two of Perry Mason. I'm a big Perry Mason fan. I love the old Perry Mason series. So we got that one there. The complete second season of Quantum Leap, which is one of the shows that actually had a remake show that lives up to the name of the first of the original. And uh, you guys, you horror fans are going to love this one. It's Friday the 13th, season two. Uh, one of my favorite seasons of the series. Actually, the first two seasons, I think, are like pretty much killer. Well, I'll kill her, no filler. And uh, season, you know, the next, then the next season gets a little bit uh, different. We got, oh, this is cool, actually. This is kind of a neat little set. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have this one. So this is the Pink Panther collection. Uh, it's got this kind of this soft. What it has is the original Pink Panther film, which somebody online tried to tell me, this is a drama. Pink Panther's not a comedy, it's a drama. Got the whole Friday. Th the, it came in on Blu-ray recently, didn't it? It's got a shot in the dark here as well, which is a really good one. Inspect the Pink Panther Strikes Again, Revenge of the Pink Panther, and Tra Trail of the Pink Panther. So, um, and it has some like a bonus disc, I think, with some uh, some cartoons that are on there as well. So I'll open this up because this is kind of cool. You can see Inspector Clouseau, Jacques Clouseau. This one came out. Well. All right, right here we have the collector's edition of Dirty Harry. 
I was hoping that it, when I saw this, that I'd see my other Dirty Harry films here, but I don't. But uh, so this is, of course, the first one, the original, with the absolutely like fantastic Andy Robinson in here, uh, has the Zodiac, uh, no, Scorpio, Scorpio killer. Do you have like American Graffiti and more American Graffiti? I think I do, I, but I haven't seen it yet in this box. Who, who knows, right? Okay. So right here, we got a bit of the old, a bit of the new. And we have the Clerks, the Collector Series 10th Anniversary Edition. So it is a, uh, a three-disc set. It has the theatrical version of Clerks, Clerks the First Cut, and like Snowball Effect, the story of Clerks, with a bunch of featurettes and features on here. So really cool. We like this one. Uh, Hint had this one before, and she loaned it out to a friend of hers. And when she got it back, one of the discs were missing, so we actually ended up buying it again. This is one that my cousin got me for uh, for Christmas, and uh, yeah, I, I'm a big fan. So uh, this is the Jerry Lewis 10 film set. It came up from Walmart. Uh, so Sarah, this one came from Walmart. And it has uh, the Stooge, the Delicate Delinquent, the Bell Boy, Cinderella, the Aaron Boy, the Ladies Man. I like that one a lot, actually. The Nutty Professor is on here. The Disorderly Orderly, the Patsy, and the Family Jewels. Really good, like uh, Jerry Lewis movies. And 10 films, are they all, do they each get their own disc? I think they do. I am checking. And yeah, they each get their own disc. Don't you just love that when you get something, you're like, oh, they're going to be like two or three on a disc or something like that. And then you open it up and it's like, a, each one has their own disc. Right here, this is a, a slightly newer, I guess, uh, because it is directed by Patrick Lussier and it's written by Todd Farmer and Lussier. Hey there, George. Welcome, man. I'm actually... Hey there, Trash. I got a crate from the farm of movies. Wasn't quite sure what's in here. I've been really surprised so far. Uh, it's a mixture of everything. So I've been unboxing it and like basically I'm creating it and let, letting everybody see exactly what's what's in here. Uh, and, you know, even I don't know at this point. Um, so Trick, really enjoyed this one. Uh, Omar Reps stars in this one right here. We got like uh, uh, Tom Atkins is in this movie. Jamie Kennedy's in this film. Super cool little film. Really enjoyed this one. Oh, we got a couple more of the uh, TCM releases here. So this is the Hitchcock Thrillers one. Huge fan of Jerry Lewis. And that, that Robert's Way Rock. Because who doesn't love Jerry Lewis? So we got Suspicion, Strange on a Train, fantastic film. The Wrong Man, I Confess. So we got like four Hitchcock classics right here. I don't think any of those are in the Hitchcock set that I got. Um, so A Day at the Races, uh, Room Service, A Night in Casablanca. Well, obviously, I'm close to Casablanca right now. And At the Circus. Uh, shout out. Uh, don't think I'll be watching this, but Faisal, happy birthday. I uh, was glad to be able to share a bit of it with you. Uh, so it's the Marcus Brothers set. And here we got a uh, kind of a, a murder mysteries set right here. It has the Post Mileage Rings twice, the classic John Garfield one. Uh, we got Maltese Falcon on here, The Big Sleep, Dial in for Murder. Just a really, really good set of, set of films. Look how like faded this is, right? I'm looking forward to you watching any other stuff. My better half is super jealous. You have no idea how much she wants those two sets. I'm gonna break into your house, George. <laughs> All right, so next up is the Boris Karloff Collection. This is a really good one. To uh, I know I keep saying that, but these are good sets. Uh, this has uh, Night Key, Tower of London, The Climax, Strange Door, and Black Castle. I love the look of this set, too. These franchise collection things were so... They were so good. Look, they even had the, po the posters from the movie on the back. Kind of like a lobby card format. Just so well done. We got uh, Best of Adam Costello set here, Volume 4, Franchise Collection. I do want to get the uh, the full set down the road. Okay, thanks for coming in, man. There's a whole bunch of other stuff, so uh, come back watch the rest of it later, hopefully. We got Adam Costello meet Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I love that one, actually. I, Adam Costello meet the Keystone Cops. Adam Costello meet the Mummy I really enjoyed. The Word of Adam Costello, which is a compilation one. Organize your cartoons. Hannah Barbera, Mr. Magoo, Harvey Tunes. I don't know if I've got that at Harvey Tunes. I need that Harvey Tunes set. Uh, the World of Al Costello. Al Costello meets Jerry Seinfeld. I'm, 
I guess the tribute one. Got your two movies. Congratulations, Sarah. And Axel Meet the Monsters, which is kind of like a look at the all the monster ones put by them. This is a really, really good one. And I'm glad we got this one at, at the house. So this is the the Betty Davis collection. And uh, from 20th Century Fox. This has some really good films in here. So and like got a two to sit here with Olive at Eve. Just a wonderful film. We got Phone Call from a Stranger. With, uh, Shelley Winters. I do have Russ Mar behind me. I know how to keep people are watching the videos. Uh, we got the uh, we got a costume here with the uh, with the Virgin Queen. Oh, one of my favorites, Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte. Absolutely adore this freaking film. Bed Davidson lived to have one. Originally supposed to be Joan Crawford, by the way, but you know we all know how they got along, right? And uh, Bed Davidson nanny. So this is a Hammer production. Uh, the, yeah, Jimmy Sangster wrote the wrote the uh, screenplay for this one. And uh, feature wise, like most of the features are on uh, All About Eve, but there's some features on Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte as well. Uh, like Bruce Stern was in the movie, so. I do not have any, any CGI sequel, actually. Oh, we got another, like, of these classic ones. So we got Bella Lugosi here, Immersion in the Room Org, The Black Cat, The Raven, Invisible Brain, and Black Friday. I really like uh, like the Black Cat on here. Uh, I like these films. I'm a big fan of this, like, the kind of the classic. Uh, I was wondering what the Undertaker thing was. <laughs> uh, classic stuff. Like, people forget because I watch so much of the newer, cheesier stuff. Uh, that uh, yeah, at the end, I grew up like with CBC Late Night, watching a ton of this stuff. Uh, so we got the Gangster Collection Volume Four. This is a really special collection in the Gangster series, and I'll I'll show you why actually. So we got and like pretty much all these have commentaries and cartoons and stuff on them, like shorts. So we got the Amazing Doctor Clitterhouse, R.G. Robinson. We got Invisible Stripes with George Raft. Kid Galahad with Robinson there as well. Got another or with Larceny Incorporated, which is kind of kind of a humorous one. Got the Little Giant with Barb Robinson and Mary Astor. What's really super cool about this one is it has this Public Enemies: The Golden Age of the Gangster Film. So for those that don't know, this is an amazing TCM documentary that looks at the entire era of gangster cinema, and it is so. Freaking good. This is pretty much a Edward G. Robinson set with uh, the uh, with a, a fantastic documentary included. Still a few more guys. Do I like my Betty Davis? Hey Justin, welcome man. Hey there, Mike. Doing my camera. Was it rest Gordon Lightfoot? Oh, no. Yeah, rest in peace, Gordon Lightfoot, man. Or the worst person in the world, Criterion today. I might get the child play 4K from Screen Factory since they're doing all Chucky movies in 4K. Yeah, I know. I want them all, man. The Betty Davis Collection Volume 2. So we got a lot of good stuff on here as well. When I initially got this, by the way, I bought this at a, a secondhand place. One of the movies... Um, well, right now we're into about 34 minutes today, uh, George. So I'm not quite sure how much you missed. How long you're? Um, one of the movies weren't he wasn't here. It was actually it was, it was neat though. I had kind of like the Legends of Slapstick Comedy. It was a double double to set with like like four films on it. But I was able to find the movie that's missing elsewhere and put it in. So we got Marked Woman with Betty Davis right here. I love this cover, man. It's, this is fantastic. Look at this, Humphrey Bogart, oh, young Humphrey Bogart too, man. Look at that. We got Old Acquaintance with Betty Davis and Miriam Hopkins. Like great special features on some of these two classic cartoons, featurettes, audio commentaries, just comedy shorts. The Man Who Came to Dinner. We got Jezebel, great film. This was a really good one, actually. 
Uh, Betty Davis here and Henry Fonda. Love this movie. This is one of those missing that I had to go and find out on my own, actually. Uh, whatever happened to Baby Jane? So, you know, the most important one. Yeah, what moves do you get, Sarah? Let people know. And this had like a bunch of documentaries on Betty Davis and Joan Crawford here. And what's really neat here, too, is this has Stardust, the Betty Davis story. It is a full feature length, 88 minute uh, documentary narrated by Susan Strand and done by TCM on the uh, on Betty Davis. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. I'm so glad I, I'm so glad I got this here now. I've got a couple books here, too. I'll show those along the way. Uh, W.C. Fields Collection Volume 2. This is a, this is a big one for me, and I'll tell you why. So we got You're Telling Me, The Old-Fashioned Way, Man on the Flying Trapeze, Poppy, and, of course, the really popular Never Give a Sucker and Even Break. But what is incredible about this one for me is, as many of you know, I'm from Canada. Uh, I'm not living there now, but I, I am from Canada. And this includes a documentary on W.C. Fields. But not just any documentary. I'm going to like see the inside of this because this is so gorgeous looking. Not just any documentary. No, a documentary by the legends of Canadian comedy, Wayne and Schuster. So if you know Wayne and Schuster, they are the ones that do the, the documentary on this set here, which is absolutely stunning. And I will be honest, I got this as much for Wayne and Schuster as I did for, uh, for W.C. Fields. But... I am in uh, Morocco now, uh, Mike. I have a couple quick books I'll show you real quickly before we tell the rest of the films. So uh, for anybody that likes comics, uh, Ultimate X-Men Volume 5. Ah, Roger Stern, when he came back to write Hobgoblins, like the finished story. Uh, Spider-Man, Hobgoblin Lives. <sighs> Nova Scotia is burning up in the fire right now. That is true, Diana. Donna. My kids are there, and my family's there right now. As it is, uh, my kids are uh, have been haven't had to move, haven't been evacuated because they're luckily right now in a in a good spot. Uh, one of my one of my relatives, unfortunately, has been evacuated, so hopefully her home is okay. Uh, we're uh, just waiting to find out more information, and I'm keeping like I keep watching the Canadian news on it. And the uh, Teen Titans, I think, yeah, Teen Titans Earth One. Uh, volume one and two. If you've never seen Red Teen Titans, like Earth One, any of the Earth One stuff's amazing, actually. Now back to the movies. That's what we came here for. And apparently, some t some cheesy TV stuff that uh, is going to make you uh, kind of question me after all this, like all this really cool stuff. <sighs> me too, uh, Justin. I actually stayed up all night uh, when I found out just monitoring things, just to be sure. And just as I was getting ready to go to sleep, like as the kids were saying, okay, it looks like it's kind of moving in the other direction. Uh, I got a message from one of my aunts who told me that her uh, her daughter, one of my cousins, actually was getting evacuated at that time. My cousin Roger is in uh, is in Sydney, so he's uh, thankfully far off from the fire right now. Uh, the fire is in Barrington and in Halifax, like just outside of Halifax. Okay, I don't. I don't think I've watched this movie. Uh, maybe I'll have to watch this and review this one soon. Actually. You, maybe you guys can let me know. Maybe you guys have seen this movie. Master Talent with Nicolas Cage and and Searching. Good titles, man. So you got good stuff there, Sarah. Wedding Slashers with Maria Ford, Richard Lynch, and Jessica Kinney. By Heart Sharp Studio Video. I have no idea. Um... Essential collection. I would actually be interesting in that one down the road, man. Get ready to judge me. You're going to. Trust me. You're going to. And I won't blame you. For those that just came in, there's been a lot of classic like movies and horror and like really cool not juvenile stuff that we've unboxed so far just just gonna put that out there right now before i before i show this so beverly hills now 2-0 the 
complete first season. Remember, I was a teenager during this time period. This right now, because I'm learning French, uh, not doing the great sound right now. So, uh, well, hopefully I'll be doing some teaching stuff, uh, which doesn't pay the greatest. Uh, but, you know, this is our place. We own this. Um, we don't, we're not renting. But right now I'm work. This is my job. Uh, take with that what you will. <laughs> with me, it's fun, but it is stressful. Um, but yeah, this is my job right now. So guys, Patreon, you want to support like that or donate or super chat? Okay, great, wonderful. If you don't want to, fantastic, it's okay. Enjoy the video, have some fun, give it a thumbs up. That's important stuff. Uh, so we got uh, season two of Bear Hills 9 2 That's season three. <laughs> season four. Season five. Season six. Not going to lie. I'm probably going to rewatch this, George. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Like, I think that's pretty much all my TV stuff. Like, there's a couple more, a few more boxes here, though. Oh, wait. Okay. No, there's McLeod. McLeod, Chief. Uh, so I really like this. Actually, it has an episode of McMillan Wife as a bonus on here. But I got the entire McMillan Wife here as well. <laughs> I actually do own own food fed on DVD as well. So Justin, me and you, same boat. Speaking of the woman that hated Betty Davis, 1990 to 2000, yeah, rest in, his uh, son is a wrestler, actually, uh, Jack Perry, uh, Jungle Boy in uh, AEW. 23 movies in 4K. That is really cool. And that just this is the Joan Crawford collection. And one of my favorite movies of all time is on this set right here. And it'll be the last one I show you. Uh, not the last movie I show you. And the, 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 there's more sets there, but it'll last in the set. Uh, so we got Mildred Pierce, which I absolutely adore. Uh, the Damn Don't Cry, a fantastic film right there. The Women. Great movie with uh, Norma Shearer and Joan Crawford. Uh, Possessed, Joan Crawford and Van Heflin. And one of my all-time favorite films of all, ever, uh, like across the board, is this movie right here. It's just one that I saw when I was young, and it was on CBC Late Night. And it would show up quite often, but there was just something about this film that always stuck with me. So every time, I would try and catch it every time I could. See, edit season 9, 10, 11, 12 of Y50. Nice. I got the set for that one, actually. Uh, I love Wi Fi though. Humor esque. So, humor esque with John Garfield and Joan Crawford. John Garfield plays this young, like, uh, violinist, and he's really good. He's extremely talented, uh, but he is in love with this older, rich heroine, heroine played by, uh, by Joan Crawford, who is uh, extremely emotionally damaged. Very, very good film. Book him, Dano. You know, the last season, I think, of Hawaii Five-O has Wim Smith as one of the uh, leads. Uh, looks like we're getting to the last of this stuff here, but uh, there's some cool stuff, though, so don't worry. We got an, a Warner Archives one right here, and it is Atlantis, the Lost Continent. With Anthony Hall, we got Edward Platt from. Uh, if you correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Edward Platt from uh, Get Smart? Like it's the chief, right? Did I get that wrong? It's Edward Platt. Okay, now I need to know. I think he's the chief from Get Smart. Watch me be totally wrong. Oh, yes, yeah, the chief from Get Smart. <laughs> Another horror icon collection here. We got a Boris Karloff one. Uh, and on, on this one here, we got Black, The Black Room, The Man They Could Not Hang, The Boogeyman Will Get You, and Before I Hang. The Man They Could Not Hang is one that I really liked. I remember watching a lot. 
So uh, super stoked to have that on to, to watch again. We got another film noir set right here. And some really good ones too. Probably one of my favorites from noir sets. Because what we got on here is the absolutely fantastic Crossfire. Just a wonderful film noir with Robert Ryan and Gloria Graham, Robert Young, Robert, all the Roberts. It's got all the Roberts. Uh, fantastic film. We got one of my favorites here, and that is Narrow Margin. This is remade with Kevin Costner, uh, but this is the one watch. This is really, really good. I just absolutely love that one. And what makes this one even better when you get this is William Friedkin did the commentary. Like William freaking Friedkin. And he does amazing commentaries, by the way. We got Clash by Night with the wonderful Barbara Stanwyck. Love Barbara Stanwyck here. Along with uh, Paul Douglas and Robert Ryan and Marilyn Monroe. So there you go. We got Dillinger with the extremely intimidating uh, Lawrence Tierney. And the movie that should have made Lawrence Tierney a star if he hadn't kind of gotten his own way because it is a definite star-making performance in Lawrence Tierney, Clara Trevor, and Walter Slezak in Born to Kill. If you have not seen this movie, you must see this movie. It is amazing. I absolutely love Born to Kill. So, guys, is this class or something you'd expect from my channel <laughs> after the last month or so? Uh, well, we got the Skulls trilogy right here. He is, I mean, like zombies, he is just such a force of nature. Like, you talk about, like, the, your Jasons and Freddies and, and Michaels. Like, Lawrence Tierney in that movie is just such a hateful force of nature. So, Skulls, I actually do dig these films a lot. So, uh, Triple Feature. I actually got a Blu-ray of this now uh, from, uh, from Mill Creek. This is a really good Blu-ray. And last, but uh, definitely not least, because it has one of my, another one of my favorite films of all time. So you guys find out some stuff about me here. And it is the Earl Flynn Signature Collection. Uh, we bought this in Montreal. And uh, it's got some great stuff. See, apparently Colonel Lorber is putting out seasons, seasons one of Monk. Actually, I did not know that. I love the series Monk, though. So we got Dodge City with Liv de Havilland. Of course, he worked with her a lot. My all-time favorite Earl Flynn movie and one of my favorite movies. And the reason I would go out with a stick and sword fight with my friends uh, on, a, on weekends when I was a kid, Captain Blood. I love this movie. Like, I remember watching this one. Well, I remember I was a kid and what came on, not at late night, but it came on in like what kind of like a, an, a Saturday afternoon film. And I was so enamored with, like, I thought David Haddon was the most beautiful woman in the world. And uh, I thought, I just thought it was such a cool character. Uh, if you've never seen Captain Blood, it's it's excellent. So Peter Blood is this guy. Um, he gets falsely kind of charged and imprisoned. Uh, but he becomes this, like, this pirate and is really, really good. Yeah, he just saw uh, Rush Meyer back there, huh? Uh, the Private Life of Elizabeth and Essex. Great one with, with Betty Davis in Earl You know, I love me some Betty Davis. Uh, the Seahawk, another fantastic like uh, one there with some great sword play. They died with their boots on again with Livia de Havilland to, to work together a lot, and uh, definitely not least, the Adventures of Earl Flynn, the document, the TCM documentary. Uh, again, you know, running like eighty-seven minutes. TCM documentaries usually run between 80, 87 to ninety minutes, and uh, this is a really great documentary on Earl Flynn, his movies, his life. And just great, great stuff. So there you go. My very first. You do see Vegas. We actually watched that one. Watched the first uh, few discs of that one uh, oh, recently. Where's that? Got Vegas right here. So I'll show you a couple things from, the, from here while we're here. So this is my Russ Meyer set. Uh, it is lying at a print. It came from Arrow Video. Uh, this here is my Val Luton collection. Uh, the Eight Films to Die For is right next to it. Right over here is the uh, Wild Wild West. I used to watch this show. It used to come on uh, on Saturdays. Do you have any TV series reunion movies? Well, I know I showed... Uh, I'm not sure if you're here when I showed it. Um, what set is that? Oh, the, the rest of my set. Um, 
I uh, showed my Bionic Man one, and that how the reunion moves in that one. I think this one might. Uh, let me just check. So for those who don't know, Wild Wild West was a kind of a James Bonding type series, uh, but done in the Wild West. Huh. Yep. So this one, by the way, uh, Alan, just because yes, it has both of the reunion movies. It's got the Wild Wild West Revisited done in 1979. And more Wild Wild West than in 1980. And just so you guys can see what it kind of looks like, it's kind of holsters on the strip there, the film strip. Extremely cool stuff, I think, anyway. Yes, the Will Smith film was a bad remake of this fantastic series. Uh, there's like behind there, you can see I got some eight millimeter projectors. Um, of course, 4K of 2000, 2001. I know uh, George went and ordered the fancy one, but uh, this is the uh, North American edition. Had like a bunch of like art cards there as well, so that's kind of cool. My Planet of the Apes set. Kevin Klein is good in anything, man. I think Kevin Klein can make any movie good. And I got like some various stuff around here too. Uh, all four seasons of the series of uh, Blake Seven. For those that know that show, I'm guessing George, you probably do. We got here the Tales from the Dark Side, the complete series. I love this show, by the way. And Lucy is one of my favorite episodes. If you haven't seen it, like Tom Savani does the special effects in Lucy. Really great stuff. It's like commentaries in, on this set. Like really good set. And I got it for like under 20 bucks at uh, Walmart. Got some cool little documentaries here as well that I just recently uh, rediscovered. And that is, you know, Never Sleep Again. Easy Riders, Raging Bulls. Fantastic like 70s cinema documentary. His name was Jason. The... The documentary that would come out uh, before uh, Crystal Lake Memories, which would be like a comprehensive documentary, which I also do have, by the way. But this was the original one. I don't think I still have. Do I? Do I? Do I? I don't. Kristen Hannah Hoare, I think I actually mentioned this one recently. Plant CHH. Um, very cool little documentary. Uh, done differently than the other ones, but uh, I enjoyed it. Of course, as somebody mentioned, yeah, it's your it's not your birthday, but by now, then, by the way, happy birthday, George. Because uh, it's after like twelve. Did I get the day wrong? If I didn't, happy early birthday, George. If I if I got it right, then happy birthday. I actually do have the Robert Downey Jr. one. I got it on Blu-ray actually. So we have this right here. I loved Vegas. Great show. I was really sad that Judy Landers didn't stay into it. Got a whole bunch of like Criterion's right here as well. Down here, I got like some of my favorite, like sci-fi, like kind of cheesiness with like stuff like sliders. Oh, sorry, wait, sliders. Got to say it right. I got the complete series of sliders down here. Complete series of a show that had a, a huge effect on me, and that is a Remington Steel. Oh, a whole bunch of Criterion man. Um, and we got like just some of my DVD Criterions off here, like. 39 Steps, Diabali, the Samurai, Samurai Trilogy, Seven Samurai, Night to Remember, uh, Last Wave, Royal Tenenbaums, Tunes of Glory, A Class Tourist, um, Ministry of Fear, Ma uh, Monsters of Mad Men. Great set. Thank you, Robert, man. This, this is some of it anyway. <laughs> uh, of course, the Twin Peaks, Entire Mystery. Uh, I remember picking this up. I had like a uh, gift card. I think my cousin Raj gave me a gift card one year, and I, this is what I got with it. And it includes the movie, too, so that was actually kind of cool. So both seasons of the show and the movie. This was before, like, the third season came out. Uh, one of the things I'm actually very proud of, and uh, this is the Criterion Monsters of Mad Men set. So it has four movies, including, like, The Honda Strangler, which is a movie that I bought it for. Uh, but we got The Honda Strangler with Boris Karloff. We got Corridors of Blood with Christopher Lee. First Man into Space is here. Atomic Submarine. And what's really neat about this is I love, like, the look of the set. So you see, look at this kind of, like, neat kind of artwork. 
Gotta see the movie. It's cool stuff. Hans Stranger is so good. So we got like here. Atomic Submarine. First Man in Space. But uh, don't want to be keeping you guys too long. Getting, making you all bored. I'm proud of it. Watch it break on me. Whoa. Let's get it put in there right by Mishima. Mishima, which is fantastic, by the way. It was sent to me by a viewer and such a good film. I got I to gotta eventually review it. Oh, this is neat, too. I'll show you this before I go. This is the ET Ultimate Gift set. So it is a uh, has the original Tachiko version of the film, the crappy redone version where they change uh, some of the uh, effects and stuff. Uh, Bones Materials DVD, a CD soundtrack, exclusive Cenotype, uh, hardbound book. So when you open this up, let's see if I can do this on camera like this. See right away, you got the book right here. I know it's actually like a pretty big book too. It's a hardcover book. Almost 200 pages. Some great stuff in here. It also comes with its uh, very own uh, certificate of authenticity. And here is the film strip from ET. And here is the collector's edition set. Yeah, I mean, I keep forgetting that they had this. Uh, and it's such a beautiful set too. Like we love ET. Like we both me and my better half grew up with this film. But I thought you guys would get a kick out of it anyway. I think that's a good place to end. Like I could show you some other stuff. I got like a whole bunch of stuff here from Star Trek to Star Wars to um, a ton of like kind of cool little additions, but we'll leave that for next time. Anyway, my name is Aaron. I want to thank you so much for joining me here tonight. I hope you had a good time like I did, and I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox some stuff. Um, I will try. Yeah, it does have the soundtrack with John Williams. Uh, I will try, and uh, the next time I get, I'm able to get a crate in here, we'll do another one crating if you like it. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see me do another one of these. I got more crates and uh, that I haven't looked in even heavier crates with more stuff. Uh, between, like there's Blu-rays, box sets, DVDs, just whole, the whole works of a bunch of things. So thank you guys. I appreciate I appreciate everything you guys have done over this last month of it's been crazy going over the sale and all that type of stuff. I have heard rumors, though I cannot verify it. Thank you, Mike. Uh, number 12. Come on, guys. Uh, I've heard rumors that there's a seven sale coming up in June. If that is true, we will be covering that one extensively. So uh, keep an eye. We'll keep an eye for that. And uh, there's a lot more stuff to uh, talk about in the next few days. Whew, it's going to be busy, but at 5:35 in the morning, I have to pass out. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you next time, right here in the College of Cinema. <laughs>